Hi, my name is Margaret Jankowski, and I founded the Sewing Machine Project in 2005. It all began with an idea. I was reading an article online about a woman who lost her sewing machine in the Southeast Asian tsunami in 2004. Walking alongside her two friends, a BBC reporter interviewed them as they traveled the broken road back to their village. What do you hope to find when you get there? The reporter asked. My sewing machine was the, was the response. I could relate. As a sewer, my sewing machine is so important to me. When I sew, not only am I creating something, but it gives me time to think things through. It, it helps me to find peace and I couldn't ma imagine being without it. But I could survive without my sewing machine. And for this woman, that machine meant the difference between survival and starvation. And so it began. Not knowing how or even if it would work, I began collecting sewing machines to send to Sri Lanka. Working with the local chapter of the American Hindu Association and supported by local community groups, we began sending shipments of sewing machines to orphanages housing children left without parents after the storm. And the idea caught on. Later in 2005, when Hurricane Katrina devastated the Gulf Coast, I shifted gears and we began refocusing on New Orleans, taking truckload after truckload of sewing machines down to the Gulf. Working first with individuals who had lost their machines, we continued to deliver machines to community groups and schools as they recovered from the storm. We deliver machines to New Orleans to this very day and have shared over 1,200 machines with that region alone. We ask sewing machine recipients, no matter where they are or who they are, to find a way to pay it forward somehow using their sewing machine. Some people sew for others, some make things for their community, some people teach others to sew. We believe this gives our work a ripple effect, and every community needs mending. We believe paying it forward empowers people to recognize their own voice in mending their, their community. Little by little, other groups around the country and the world began to hear about the Sewing Machine Project and inquired about receiving machines. So we designed a proposal process. We asked groups to reflect on the following questions. Is this a population that would have difficulty finding access to sewing and sewing machines due to poverty or circumstance? Will the sewing machine as a tool make a difference in the lives of the students? How will they pay it forward and help their community? To date, we've shipped over 3,000 sewing machines. That's a lot of machines. Although our international work is limited, we do consider applications from groups that have established shipping channels from the United States. In the past 15 years, we've partnered with recipient groups to get machines to Guatemala, Honduras, Kosovo, India, Sri Lanka, Liberia, and Tanzania. In 2011, we began considering how we could help our local community right here in Wisconsin. We began by developing and offering sewing classes to clients of local community centers. The centers create the class list, then we bring the teacher and the machines. The class format is lovely. Six weeks of sewing lessons teaching basic, sew basic sewing and machine care. Students need to pay it forward by completing a project to give to the community in the course of the six weeks. At the end of each local series, get, students are gifted the machines on which they learned. Another important local initiative is our mending project. Since 2015, the Sewing Machine Project has offered free mending. First, at Madison's Goodman Community Center, then adding the Central Library, and finally adding the Beacon, a center here in Madison for people experiencing homelessness. The focus on repairing rather than replacing when we mend not only enhances the sustainable aspect of the work we do, but it also means that folks we serve can use a beloved garment just a little bit longer. If you'd like to begin a mending site in your area, please contact the Sewing Machine Project through our website. We'd be happy to help you get started. And now we're embarking on a new idea. Based on input from our local students and mending clients, we are creating a curriculum around repairing rather than replacing. 
We plan to offer this live in our local classes when we are once again able to offer in-person instruction. In parallel, we are creating a series of how-to videos on mending and repurposing. These videos will live on the Sewing Machine Project's very own YouTube channel. Working with our local clients, we will figure out what lessons are most helpful, including useful mending tips and creative ways to repurpose what you have into something new. We believe these videos will speak across generations as well as cross-culturally, and we're excited to share them with you. We are grateful to the Gordon Flesh Foundation for their financial support of this exciting new initiative. Aligning with our repurposing theme, we have created a line of little bags made of repurposed materials. Old table linens and garments have taken on new life in these cute little bags, and they have so many uses. All of these bags are sewn by our volunteer core. This is a fundraiser, and your purchase helps support the work we do, getting sewing machines into the hands of those whose lives can be changed by this creative tool. And please visit our website at thesewingmachineproject.org to learn a little bit more about the work that we do. The Sewing Machine Project is an organic organization and we are always evolving. We do our best to listen to the needs of the community we serve and to meet those needs in the most creative and compassionate way that we can.